Hey everybody, Jonathan Mayer, and I'm dropping in with a, a quick unboxing. Uh, not pro wrestling crate, uh, not really a mystery box, but um, a figure I received from Ringside Collectibles, and then I just wanted to show off a couple things that I received for Christmas. Now first thing I wanted to show, you know, my family has watched these videos and they've been very supportive. Um, you know, my mom knows that unboxings are something that I'm interested in now, so she seeks out what's the best tool to use to do an unboxing or to open a box and she finds this brand Canary from uh, Japan and gets me a couple pieces. Now this is what I'm going to use today. It says Canary on there if you can see that. And then there's a larger one as well. Maybe if you're going to to really break down a box. We have this one here also. So I thought that was really cool that you know my mom thought enough to kind of seek that out. So what we're going to open up here is a box that I received from Ringside Collectibles. Now I know it's an MJF uh, Series 2 AEW Jazzwares figure. Um, I'm not a completist when it comes to figures, which is a good thing. You know, you only have so much space to display things. I'll, although it looks like I have so much here, you really do have to limit, you know, what you get. Because you, you only have so much room to display it. Um, but I wanted to at least get one figure from Series 2. And I decided I'd go with the MJF figure. Now, there is a possibility there's a chase version of this figure. Um, it doesn't necessarily look cooler, but he has a different scarf on. Uh, and there is a possibility that I could receive that. So um, that is one thing that's kind of up in the air here. So let's, let's open her up. And I did not receive that one, but that's totally cool. Because it's not, there's some of the chases from like series one where it was drastically different. This chase wasn't much different, um, and actually the regular one is better. Because I don't believe that he really wore that other scarf that they had him in. So here, it shipped in the uh, a figure defender plastic extra case on the outside. But we have MJF there. You know, one of the best uh, heels in the game right now. So that is a uh, super... That, that's really neat. I was going to say that's super cool. Then I noticed my last video, everything I open up, cool is the only way I describe it. So I'm going to work on that. It is pretty cool though. So MJF. Now the other things I wanted to show off were a couple figures that I received for Christmas. Um, I didn't know I was going, I knew I was going to receive them. I mean, how do you buy a guy who's got so many action figures, something without risking that maybe he already has it or he wouldn't want it, you know. So first here we have an Ultimate Edition, my first Ultimate Edition figure, and it is Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Now, anybody out there that knows this figure might recognize that I, I actually have opened this. Uh, originally he did not have the belt on, it was it was here, he had this weight belt on. I put that on and I and I swapped out the heads, I put, a, it's kind of hard to see in you know, my lighting here, but I put more of the, the angry head. But it's a super cool Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure. Um, the NWO shirt that was in here was a little bit folded over. So you couldn't read that it said NWO. Um, so I decided to open it to change that. And then I made those other changes too. I mean, I'm fine with opening it. But I want to keep it in this package for presentation. And I do have a figure defender for it also. I took that off for now because it had even more of a glare when I tried to show that. So the other figure that I received, and this is, um, I guess awesome is going to be the word for this video instead of cool, but um, this is Andre the Giant in the WrestleMania 3 ring cart. Now if you remember WrestleMania 3, it was at the Silverdome in Detroit, and you know, they were, the ring was a long way from where the, um, you know, the locker room was, so they had these ring carts that were motorized that brought them to the ring. Now, there, there were a few people, I think maybe Hogan and, and then Ultimate Warrior, I've got his shirt on here. You know, he just ran to the ring because he was a maniac. But um, Andre wasn't going to be running to the ring. So they had these ring carts made, and then they came out with these figures. This is the first time they've ever put out the ring cart in figure form. Um, they did it. There's a Macho Man one, same ring cart, just with Macho Man in there, and then this Andre the Giant. Well, I have several Macho Man figures back behind me, but... I don't really have any, you know, full regular action figures of Andre the Giant, so it's just super, super cool. Now, it is what you would call a basic figure. 
um, where it doesn't have all the articulation that some of the others have. But for one, I'm not going to take it out of the package. And you know, with I think I think it looks better as a basic actually being Andre the Giant. You know, and if you are going to play with it, Andre the Giant isn't doing moon salts and, and hurricanranas. You know, he he wasn't the most uh, poseable himself at this stage of his career. So that's super cool. Um, the one other thing I was going to show off just kind of ties into those two. I did not get it for Christmas, but I bought it for myself earlier this year. Is this lunchbox? It was made by Funko that uh, commemorates that WrestleMania three with with Hogan and Andre there. And it's got Hogan slamming Andre on the back. And then on the side, we've got uh, Hogan, JYD, and Steamboat. This side, we got Andre, Harley Race, and Macho Man. So, so those are just a few things for you. Um, the, big, the big exciting thing here for me is this MJF. And it, it is a pretty awesome looking figure. Um, so a couple weeks from now, I'll be back you know, with another Pro Wrestling Crate unboxing. Until then... You know, have a happy new year. Stay safe.